Hello everyone, my name is Shambhavi. Hope you all are doing well. So basically today we are going to say that how to calculate the sample size in. Now basically today we are going to say one new formula for calculating the sample size, right? Sample size is basically denoted by n, right? So basically we are seeing all these things from the very starting of this inferential statistics. Right, so what I'll be just doing is that I'll be making some modifications on the formula that is error bound mean. Okay, I'll be making some modifications into that formula and that after the after the modifications of that formula will surely lead to the formula for calculating the sample size in. Okay, so firstly what I'll be just doing here is that I'll be firstly putting up the heading here. Okay, so heading for today is basically calculate the sample calculate the sample size n right this is a topic which we are going to discuss today calculate the sample size n now as i mentioned that i'll be making some modifications into the formula of uh, basically error bound meet okay so before doing that let me just quickly write down something here so that you can also have the notes of that and i will be just writing the formula for the error bound mean as well okay so this is the thing that i'm just going to do here right now so basically what I'll be just doing here is that I'll be writing the error bound, the error bound formula, the error bound formula for a, for a population, for a population mean, the error bound formula for the population mean when the uh, when the let me just come down here so that I can just write that properly. Okay, so the error bound formula, okay, the error bound formula for a population mean when the uh, population standard deviation, okay, when the population standard deviation is known as, okay, deviation is known as. We basically know that what is population standard deviation, right? We already know this thing. And even we know basically that basically what is the formula for error bound? What does it actually? And what does population mean? That also we know. And population standard deviation, we are familiar with this term also, right? So we had already discussed all these things in the previous videos, right? So is known as. Now I'm just going to write here the formula that here we have. So for finding the error bound mean. Okay, the short form is EBM, right? So EBM is equal to, now here it is Z alpha by 2 in the denominator i'll be writing alpha by 2 and here this dot actually represents the multiplication right and i was writing here sigma upon under root of n so this sigma is actually denoting my standard deviation and this n is actually de denoting the, si the size of my sample right so we are just familiar with this formula right here now if i just want to make the formula for the sample size that is n okay now basically what I'll be doing here, firstly I'm just taking a different color and I'm just writing that what actually here the term swings. This sigma is actually standing for standard deviation, okay. If you are just not familiar with that, I'll just give you a quick revision of that. So here it is, sigma is a standard deviation, okay. And this n is actually my sample size, okay. My sample size are basically what is the size of the sample that we are taking. And this z actually stands for my z is score. And this abm you all know that is my error bound mean. Right, I would just again take a different color here so that now I can just write out the formula for finding out the sample size n. Right, so for that basically I'll be writing here that, uh, I'll be writing here formula for sample size. Okay, we're just going to find that thing, right? Formula for sample size is, and what I'll be just doing is that I'll be coming to and down to my next line. So formula for sample size is n is equal to that is z is, square, z is square sigma is square upon ebm is square. Now simply just have a look from the previous formula that what changes do I have made here. Only the change that I have made here is that I had simply uh, simply taken this n to the other side. Okay, simply taken this n to the other side. So ebm has come under this underscore and this root. And simply when I would just square this uh, side, whole side, so it will basically give me the final result as n is equal to z square sigma square upon e b m square. So this is nothing new. Only what I have just changed is that I had simply changed the uh, positions of the n and d b m. That is all. Enough that I have just done that. Like uh, other than this, I have done nothing here. Okay. So n is equal to z square sigma square upon e b m square. 
So z is again the same that is z square sigma is again that only that is my standard deviation and dbm stands for my error bound mean and this actually n stands for my sample size that i need to find out here right so this is done here and what else i can just say from here and okay i'm just going to write that in this formula so basically in this formula let me quickly let you know one more thing here after that we'll be moving towards the question okay so i'm just going to write here that in this formula and now basically what is this z actually referring to z actually refers to my z of interdenominator it is alpha by 2 okay it is the same nothing has been changed here simply this is small z which i have just written here that is actually referring to z and in denominator it is alpha by 2 right so this is the thing that i just have to follow here and this was the formula that is n is equal to z square sigma square upon e b m square Right, so what I'm just doing here is that I will just take a highlighter and highlight that so that you now do not forget about this formula that what it is actually, okay? I will just highlight this portion here for a while and yes, fine. Now basically I will be taking you towards one question that will be solving that question and seeing that basically how to find out this n, okay? So that question here I have, okay. So this is my question that I'm just talking about that we'll be needing to find out the n here okay now basically here directly it is not given that you need to find n so you need to just understand the question and from that you just need to find out that okay what i actually don't need to find out from here okay so my question says that the population standard deviation for the age of foothill college students is 15 years if we want to be 95 percent confident that the sample mean age is within two years of the true population mean age of foothill college students how many randomly selected foothill college students must be surveyed now just when i just read this question if you have listened to me very carefully so you have got the idea that basically here it is like it is directly not asking to me that i need to find the n that is sample size right i do not like it is uh, do not it is not mentioned yet directly that i need to find n but read out the very last line which is mentioned here that is how many randomly selected Foothill College students must be surveyed, right? So this is actually which is we uh, like which is called as n, right? Because in a, uh, for n, what we say, we say that it is a sample size, right? We just take one sample size and like uh, n actually refers to the uh, population on which we are surveying, correct? So basically, at last, it just asked me to find out that how many randomly selected Foothill College students must be surveyed. So this is the idea which you should follow for finding out the n. Now basically how to find out the n so I hope firstly you have just got an idea that you will not be getting directly that you need to find n here you need to just have a look over that and you need to analyze properly and come to a conclusion on yourself that actually what is it asked in this question right now moving towards the solution for this question what I would be just doing is is that I would be writing some like uh, First, I'll be writing all the things which I am given in this question, right? Because I have some uh, some values here in this question. So here, first, we I'll be writing from the problem. Uh, this is my problem question, right? So from the problem, we know we know that now basically here I have the values. I have the values for sigma. Okay, now how can I just say that? So okay, let me come down here. Okay, sigma I am having the value as 15. Read out the very first line of this question that the population standard deviation for the age of Foothill College students is 15 years. Right, so I am given the standard deviation for the age of Foothill College students here, right? So that is 15 for me. So from here, I just get the answer that, okay, I am having sigma. That is my standard deviation as 15. Right, moving towards the next thing that I have here. And the next thing that I have here is error bound mean and that is given here as two. so let me uh, show you that where it is given so it is uh, said that if we want to be 95 percent confident that sample mean age is within two years of the true population mean age of Fertile college students so here i am given like given my error bound mean that is ebm that is two years right so i have just written that thing also here now what next do i have need to do here is that okay now here I'll be writing, okay, I will just take one new color so that it is like a different uh, thing is made that I'm just solving a question right now here. So here I'll be writing Z, okay. Now this Z is equal to Z of 0 0.025. Now how can I just say this? And this is equal to 
1.96 now basically how how did i find it how just i directly wrote that because here the confidence level is 95% because here i'm writing because confidence because confidence interval okay sorry level okay confidence level is 95 percent this thing we are given in the question right just have a look again above in the question i am give i'm given that if we want to be 95 percent confident right 95 percent so i'm just given that thing here so from that i just found out directly that how to solve this and you all know right now what i'll be just doing here is that i'll be quickly applying the formula for finding out the n which we have studied right so n is equal to and here i'll be writing z square sigma square and it in the downwards it was e b m square right so i know the value for z square i know the value for sigma square even i know the value for e b m square right so for z right now we have just calculated and that was 1.96 whole square right and secondly basically i know the value for sigma and that is 15 so that would be 15 whole square and the whole would be divided by e b m square that is error bound mean square so error bound I am having here as 2. So that will be 2 square. And the final answer which I will be getting here after the calculation. So that would be 216.09. Okay. And we all know that how we had found. So we had found using the uh, equation which we had seen in the previous slide. Right. So this is the value for finding out the n. Like we had just found it out n. Now basically from here we can just conclude. And here we can just write that. Uh, okay. Here I'll be writing use n is equal to 217 by because always we basically round off the answer to the upper value. Okay, whatever the next highest integer we are having, we just round off the value up to that. So here I'm just given 216.09. So I can just round it out of uh, round off up to 217. Right. So what conclusion can I just make from this thing which I just like got here as an n value? What conclusion can I meet here? So conclusion that I can say here is that I can say 217 foothill and I would just write a call it in short okay 217 foothill college students college students should be surveyed okay so it would be should be surveyed v e y e d should be surveyed in order in order to be in order to be 95% confident, in order to be 95% confident that we are, that we are within, that we are within two years, that we are within two years, and I will just come down here, okay, that we are within two years of the, of the true population, of the true population mean age mean age of foothill college students of foothill college students now basically this was the last writer which we all should write whenever we are just like writing any like solving any question so we should always make sure to write a habit that you need to write up the last write up that whatever what conclusion you had just found out from this thing and what answer you had found out and all the things about that okay so I just simply wrote that thing here that 217 Foothill College students should be surveyed in order to be 95% confident that we are within two years of the total uh, of the true population mean age of Foothill College students. Fine and from here I just found out the value for my end that is 217 the real value was 216.09. But I have simply rounded off that value so that I can just come to a proper integer value. And as we all know that we always round off the value up to the higher integer. Right. So that I have just done, done this thing here. Right. So now I hope that you must be getting an idea. You must have an idea that how to solve the questions. If you are just asked to find out the sample size that is n, how to do that and how to just rectify from the question that what actually you need to find out from here. Right, so this is all for this video. Till then, thank you and take care.